A few years ago, this scrawny kid was getting rejected by girls and bullied in school. That kid's name is Mason Gates. He turned all of that negativity into fuel to completely transform his body and his mindset. His insane transformation went super viral and inspired thousands of people. And this all happened while Mason was in high school. But what has he been up to since then? I'm Riley Wynn and I caught up with Mason to tell you just what happened to Mason Gates after he went from bullied to bulky. When Mason went viral, it immediately changed his life in more ways than one. Definitely helped me kind of launch my personal brand and, and push myself and my story out there. I remember that day when it had happened, like very distinctly when it had gone up, I was at the gym. I had somebody come up to me at the gym and was like, hey, is this you? Um, and then my friends were like freaking out. I was freaking out. And uh, yeah, it was like, I that feeling was just really uh, surreal. His results were staggering. But how exactly did Mason put on 55 pounds of muscle in one year. Mason hit the gym every day for a hundred days straight for two to three hours a day. Not only did he hit the gym like a maniac, but he also went beast mode in the kitchen too. Mason would eat four to 6,000 calories a day with 200 grams of protein and 500 grams of carbs. And obviously the time and work he put in paid off. So when I was 92 pounds, um, you know, I was struggling to bench the bar by itself. Um, I remember it was something that I kind of got clowned on for uh, because a lot of my friends have been doing it since they were like, you know, 13 years old in squat. I think I was able to do like half reps at like 95 pounds. Now um, <laughs> my maxes are hovering around about a 265 pound bench, um, 400 and I think 35 pound deadlift. And then um, I squat probably a little bit above 365 pounds. So uh, definitely some major improvements there. High school was tough for him, but after his epic transformation and attending college, things were on the up and up for Mason. Uh, following uh, my graduation of high school, uh, attended Arizona State University on a full ride scholarship. Following my time at Arizona State University, uh, received a job offer at a top five commercial real estate firm. Outside of that, um, I do event videography for like nightclubs, things like that. I film for some pretty cool artists, you know, Kodak Black, French Montana. Uh, Lil Xan isn't really that cool, but I did that. <laughs> Just like his dedication in the gym, Mason uses that same discipline in his work life too. I get into the office before 6 a.m. I'm out after 6 p.m. And then that's just my day job. And then I edit videos when I go home, I go to the gym, I have a girlfriend. You have to sacrifice a lot when you're working that hard. But ultimately, if you, you know, really want to achieve the level of success that's possible, you kind of have to make sacrifices and you have to put in the hours uh, to get to that point. A lot of good has come from Mason Spain, but the one thing that he values the most wasn't the followers or the video views. I think the coolest thing that came from it had to have been the adjustment and attitude for, uh, from the people around me, um, which is a little bit more unique and probably not what you were thinking I was going to say. But, you know, just kind of seeing how people switch up, but just kind of how they treat you, you know, it's a little bit differently. There were people I know who did full 180s, didn't like me at all, started, you know, asking to you know, hang out with me, work out with me. I had kids who, uh, literally like bullied me in high school going from that to you know asking me what I was eating what I was doing in the gym if anything I think it just made me more of myself um, and, and exactly who I pretty much needed to be and who that video portrayed me to be because uh, you know it motivated me to keep posting and keep pushing my story out there what are some other athletes who were absolute studs that you're not sure where or what they're up to now hit me up on Twitter and Instagram and let me know I'm Riley Wynn. See you on the next one. If you want to see who we cover on our next episode of What Happened To, subscribe now and make sure to turn on those notifications.